What's up guys, it's Kayla and today as you can see by the screen and title of this video, I'm going to be starting a Let's Play series of a visual novel. And I've seen tons of these playthrough type of videos for visual novels done by men, where there's a male protagonist who goes on adventures and romances a choice of girls. However, while that's still fun to watch, I thought the girls out there might want to see the reverse, so here we are. Basically, this is a Voltage app. You can download it for free on iPhones and even Androids, I believe. How it works if you've never played a visual novel is there's a prologue you play through and the settings, storyline, and characters get introduced. At the end of the prologue, you get to choose which person you want to become the main male character and you can play out a story. The prologue and first chapter of whoever you pick is free and the remainder of the chapter is around, I think, three US dollars and that'll get you like 13 chapters, the whole story. And Voltage has tons of these apps with different themes. I chose this one since there's going to be more of a storyline. As you can see, Metro PD, probably a little bit of a mystery in there. And um, there's going to be romance too. And I've played through it once with one of the guys, but I'm going to play through it again with a different guy as the main character. It'll completely change the story, so let's get started. Okay, so we're starting the prologue. So you caught him? We did, he's a repeat offender. I'm glad we were able to get him off the streets quickly. I'm so relieved. Thank you, Officer Michelle. Oh yeah, I skipped this part, but you put in your name. I did my first and middle name, Kayla Michelle, so whenever they're saying my last name, they'll say Michelle. When they're saying my first name, they'll say, they'll say Kayla. Don't mention it. It's all thanks to your eyewitness info, ma'am. Is that you, Kayla? Mr. Sato, how's everything going? Great, your advice really helped with our peeping Tom situation. Really? I put that gravel down outside the window like you said. Now you can hear it whenever someone walks by. The peeping Toms don't come around anymore. That's great. I couldn't let them just get away with peeping on girls trying to take a bath. <laughs> I work in the West Arai Police Department's Community Safety Unit. As far as job titles go, I'm a detective. I'm still super green though, it's only my second year on the force. My friends are always telling me that I don't look like a detective, and that I don't carry myself like a detective, and all that stuff. We can rest easy with you around, Officer Michelle. We're in good hands with a talented detective like you here. You guys are too kind, really. I don't deal with serial killers, terrorists, the mafia, or anything. But I think that creating a safe community for people to live in is an important job. People come to me with the problems, and we work to solve them together. That's the kind of detective work I'm best at. Or at least that's what I thought. Until that man called my name and changed everything. Are you Detective Michelle? Yes, sir. Who is this guy? I feel like I've seen him before somewhere. You're going to the MPD. The Metropolitan Police Department? Yep. Um, what do you mean? You're moving to the Metro Police Special Investigations Unit today. Look. He says as he unfolds a piece of paper. Notice of personal transfer. Detective Kayla Michelle is hereby transferred from the West Arai Community Safety Unit to the Metropolitan Police Special Investigations Second Unit, effective immediately. See? Transferred? But I haven't heard anything about this. Well, yeah, obviously, this is my first time telling you. Jerk. I guess, but... It's a promotion. The guys in special investigations are our best and brightest. They go after the big dogs. Best and brightest? Well, they're definitely a little eccentric, too, though. Eccentric? Never mind about that. Anyway, good luck. Hey, wait a second. Oh, sorry about that. I'm Nomura, with the Metro PD. Remember that name. No, that wasn't what I was going to. See you later. And that's how I ended up here. I stand in front of the Metro Police Department. Wow, the MPD building is really impressive. What is up with this sudden transfer? There must have been some mistake. Without thinking, I turn around to start back the way I came. Wait, I can't just ignore an official transfer notice. I gather my courage and head towards the building. But actually, whoa, I turn around to find a man in a three-piece suit standing immediately in front of me, behind me. What brings you to the MPD today? 
Oh, um, I'm here too. The man quickly looks me up and down. Are you a tourist? Tourist? Head this way to get to the Imperial Palace. Go that way to get to the Ginza and the other way for the International Forum. Stone face, he points in a variety of directions. Oh, um, well, you see, I am not a tourist. Got it? Yeah. I take a step backwards, intimidated by the strength of his intense gaze. Well, take care. God, the guys in this are jerk so far. With those words, he leaves, walking towards the entrance of the building. I guess he's a detective here. He seems like a real straight-laced, top-notch investigator. I watch him walk off, momentarily lost in thought. Suddenly, he spins back around. Again, what is it this time? You should hurry and go. Someone will think you're suspicious loitering around here. Suspicious? I mean, I thought so. Damn, jerks. And with that, he quickly heads into the building. What was that all about? Suspicious? Yeah, right. I'm a detective. Any remnants of anxiety disappear. Time for me to walk into this place. I walk towards the building. The people passing through the lobby all look sharp and perceptive. Wow, they all seem so professional. Do I really belong here? Bump. Oh, sorry. Oh. The man that looks down at me. He's pretty tall. His handsome face is expressionless. Sorry about that. I wasn't looking where I was going. Uh, does he not hear me? Zz zz zz. He's snoring. His sleepy face moves to look more closely at me. His expression changes as he finally seems to register that I exist. Huh? What? Um, don't worry about it. Shisuki, good morning. Another man, or I mean boy, comes towards us. Oh, a girl. Cool. I've never seen you before. Do you work here too? Yes. Starting today, anyway. His smiling, carefree face is cute. The MPD seems super strict. I'm surprised they allow him to wear such casual clothes and dye his hair. Wait a minute. You... Yes? He surprised me by moving suddenly to analyze my face from all angles. His face is so pretty, I can't believe he's looking at me this up close. You look like one of those, um, you know, those things. One of what things? What are they called? Uh, you know, those... Okay, okay, I remember. A capybara. What the? A capybara is a pig, guys. That is rude. Uh... I don't know whether to be angry or not. Yeah, I'm gonna be angry. What the heck? You see the resemblance too, right, Shizuki? Yeah, I'm not really seeing it. Thank you. I know, right? What are you guys hanging out here for? You're going to be late for the meeting. A man calls out to us as he passes by. Katsuyuki, check it out. Doesn't this girl look like one of those things? God, not again. What is a one of those things? Er, what was it called? I just said it. You remember, right? Was it a capybara? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That. Who goes around comparing themselves to a capybara? No, I'm not saying I look like one. I was just... His unimpressed stare stops me mid-sentence. What's up with this guy? Four. Huh? There it is. Katsuyuki's rating. What? God, these guys are jerks. All of them so far. Hmm, a four. Not bad, right, Shizuki? Sleepy. Is this guy conscious or not? Well, this isn't the time to be messing around. We're going to be late for the meeting. Let's go. Oh yeah, we better hurry. Later, Capybara. Hey! The three of them disappear before I can finish what I was saying. What was all that about? Capybara? A four? Four points out of ten? No, way. Th what if he meant four out of a hundred? Oh god, I hope not. Or they could have meant four out of five. Ugh, I'm so annoyed. I accidentally say my thoughts out loud. Out loud. People in the lobby turn to look at me. Okay, this is embarrassing. I escape into the elevator. Okay, special investigations, seventh floor. I check to make sure no one is coming and press the button to close the elevator doors. Crunch. Someone is squished in the doors. Huh? What are you trying to do, crush me? A tall, kind of wild-looking guy gets on the elevator. I'm so sorry, I thought I had checked, but... 
You gotta look first. Psh, no manners. God, every single one of these guys so far are complete douches. No manners. What? You got something to say? He glares at me. It's just... Psh. Ooh, I'm pissed, but I feel like I can't say anything to this guy. Whoa. He takes out his phone and starts looking at something. Whoa. What? What is it? Yeah. What's the deal with this guy? Yes, we won. For some reason, he has his fist, right fist up, punching the air in victory. Um, congratulations. Inspired by his enthusiasm, I hesitantly raise my fist, too. Thank you, thank you. What? Now he's shaking my hand? Now the Tigers will be able to make it all the way. What is all this about baseball? Ding. The elevator reaches the seventh floor. Today's going to be an awesome day. I can feel it. Yeah, sure. Full of confidence, he saunters off the elevator. That was kind of weird. He's not a detective, too, is he? This is the MPD building, isn't it? I collect myself and head for special investigations. Okay, now where is this place? I continue down the hallway, checking the signs on the doors as I go. Here it is. I open the door labeled Special Investigations Unit. Um, excuse me. Yeah. I'm Detective Kayla Michelle from Westeray. I'll be working with you starting today. I haven't heard anything about that. Really? Oh, I know. You must mean back there. As he speaks, he points to a door at the back of the room. Oh, over there, yeah. That's where they keep the really excellent detectives. That whole room's way too elite for us. We're not even allowed to go in. Their words practically drip with sarcasm. What's up with their attitudes? What's up with all of the guys' attitudes in this game? You must be looking for them. You definitely don't belong here in first unit. I mean, are you even really a detective? Yes, of course I am. What's second unit thinking? Bring this little princess up in here. Oh, well, it's not first unit's problem. It sure as hell isn't. Excuse me? What is with these people? I'm really annoyed now. I nod goodbye and head towards the door at the back of the room. The door says, Special Investigation Second Unit. I guess this is it. I wonder what these second unit guys are like. I take a deep breath and... Knock, knock. I knock on the door. But no one answers. Left with no other option, I reach to open the door. At that moment, thud. Ow! The door opens from the inside, hitting me right in the forehead. Hmm? Ow! Oh, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. It's my fault for not paying attention. Can I help you with something? Actually, I... Are you the new kid? Yes, I'm Kayla Michelle from Wester Eye Police. Yeah, we had from... Yeah, we heard from Nomura. Hey, everybody. The newbie's here. He turns towards the middle of the room. Five guys turn around to face him. What? Miss Suspicious from before? Capybara? The four? No manners? Dot, dot, dot. Well, look at that. You guys are all buddies already. Not exactly. Okay, anyway, newbie's name is... Hey, what was your name again? Kayla Michelle from the Wester Eye Community Safety Unit. It's my first day with the MPD, so I'm a little nervous. It's nice to meet you all. You're nervous? You sure don't look nervous. Gosh, these guys. Maybe she's trying to win us over with a shy little girl act. Oh. You think she's being fake? Meh, whatever. Shut it, guys. Stop talking all at once. Hurry and introduce yourselves. I'm Kazusa Hanai. So you weren't a sketchy loiterer or a tourist. You're a detective. Yes, I'm a detective. He's handsome, but something about him rubs me the wrong way. My name's Yutaka Tenoji. I hate the giants and girls with no manners. Hey! Tenoji flashes me a wry smile. What a jerk. I'm Iki Yachigusa. I'm actually from the NYPD. I'm here in Tokyo for training. It's nice to meet you. That's a relief. He seems normal and cute. What? He catches me off guard with a kiss on the hand. Just a little New York style greeting for you. Hey! Okay, okay, that's enough. I was not expecting that. I'm Katsuyuki Kyobashi. But you've probably heard my name around before. You don't seem that clueless. Um, well, that wasn't exactly polite. 
Uh, let's see. And lastly, there's Asano. Kyobashi moves to go back to his seat, calling Asano over as he does so. I'm Shisuke Asano. Sorry about bumping into you before. Bumping into me? Oh. Uh. I don't remember. I see. Yeah, it didn't seem like he was really paying attention to what was going on. Don't worry about him. He's always like that. Anyway, I'm Hiroshi Kirisawa. Kirisawa is the head of second unit. He's our boss. I look forward to working with all of you. What? Come on guys, give her a better reaction than that. Yeah, he's the only nice one around here. Boss, are you sure this girl's a detective? Why was she transferred here? Hmm, I don't know. He doesn't know? She doesn't seem like a detective, does she? Do you have some kind of special skill? Like, are you a great shot or an explosives expert or something like that? Yeah, what's your thing? My thing? We're not asking if you do impressions or something. I know. Just then. PA system. Emergency dispatch. Emergency dispatch. Suddenly, a loud announcement comes over the PA system. We've received information regarding a bomb threat at Ojai Wharf. All personnel, move out. The relaxed atmosphere of just moments earlier is gone. Everyone immediately readies to move out. Let's go. Yes, sir. Their five faces turn serious. Wow, they're all so cool. Wait, I shouldn't be thinking about at a time like this. Michelle, you're coming too. Okay. I hurry to follow everyone out of the room. It's heating up. We arrive at Ojai Wharf. Hanai, what do we know about the bomb threat? We received a tip-off from someone living in the area. Apparently, he went to investigate an illegally parked car and overheard some discussion, some discussing, someone discussing plans for a bombing. Is that information reliable? We have to act on the assumptions that is true. Whether it's West Arai or the MPD, we'd be shooting ourselves in the foot as police if we don't work to maintain a trusting relationship with the community we protect. Everyone split up and get ready to head in. Yes, sir. Michelle, stay here. Wait for reinforcements and relay my orders to them. Yes, sir. Here, this is... This two-way radio will connect you with boss. Okay. Alright, everybody keep your eyes peeled. Let's head in. Yes, sir. At Kirisawa's orders, everyone heads off in different directions. They're totally different from when they were messing around before. They really are pros. I've got to work hard if I'm going to be a part of this unit. I turn the two-way radio on and start to focus when, crash, who? A figure dressed in black runs out of the shadows towards where I'm standing. Suspect. It's the suspect, no doubt about it. I reach for the two-way radio to contact Kirisawa when someone grabs my arm and twists them to tie my hands behind my back. Let me go! The more I struggle, the tighter my hands are bound. What do you think you're doing? Stop! My mouth is covered and I'm dragged off. I'm pushed into a dark room. You're only making it worse for yourself by doing this. With my hands still tied behind me, I summon all my courage and yell. Reinforcements are on their way as we speak. There's nowhere for you to run. I have to hurry and contact your cell. The suspect takes out a small box. What are you? He presses the button on the little box. Beep, 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 beep. The box starts making noises. Sorry guys, that was an email. It's like it's a countdown. No way, is that a time bomb? The suspect's dark glasses, sunglasses glint as they catch the light. He removes the floorboard and makes a smooth escape from the room. A secret passageway? This is bad. If I don't get in touch with Kirisawa, beep, 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 beep. This thing is really gonna blow. Just then the beeping stops. Boom. Kayla, wake up! Someone's calling me. Michelle, open your eyes. I try to open my eyes, but my body doesn't respond. Ugh. Open your eyes! What happened to me? Ugh. Kayla, come on! My head is pounding as I open my heavy eyelids. All the guys from second unit are gathered around me. What's going on? 
Ow. My leg hurts. The room is filled with the smell of gunpowder, but I can't remember what happened. What happened? It's then that I finally realize that someone is holding me in his arms. It's dot dot dot. Who will we choose? You've reached the end of the prologue. Choose a character to play his story. Oh, well, that was interesting. Okay, so this shows us the choice of guys that we have. There's Hiroshi. The first time I played Hanai, and he was kind of a jerk. I don't know, I didn't really like him. In fact, all of these guys are kind of jerks. Since we have the option to play the boss, I think I'm going to play him because he seems like the nicest and that's where we're going to leave off. I'll buy his story and then we can read it together next time. Alright, thanks for watching guys.